Anthony Burgess made two trips to Tangiers, both of them with his wife. Talking about the first one, he describes the place as all junkies. Land of the great grass, they called it, and pederasts. It was also German tourists who were ready at table for the first sitting of dinner, a good hour in advance, eating dry rolls and calling for more. I was interested to watch one German paterfamilias collect the sugar lumps from the deserted tables and dump them in a napkin. He needed them for a picnic, he said. The manager said, and poured on the lumps, a whole jugful. Why did the Germans, in this admittedly rather feeble, continue to want to be hated. It was best to eat out, away from them, with the expatriate literary pederasts, Robin Maugham, Rupert Croft Cook, and their smart-suited tangerine companions. After a drinking session with one of them, Lynn turned her sharp blue eyes on me. and put the straight question. Was I, perhaps, a closet homosexual? To my surprise, she cited verbatim Christopher Ricks's review. Homosexuality is not wicked, not ethereally spiritual, not necessarily the source of anxiety or agony, not incompatible with other things, but rather a pleasant virtuosity. I denied the charge, though admitting that I should like to be omnifutuant, just as I'd like to have been born a Jew. But she had stolen a glance at the pages of the new novel I was writing in which I seem to be presenting Shakespeare as a homosexual and a syphilitic one at that. My true sexual nature was beginning to come out in middle age. This, I said, was all nonsense. What I would have liked to have done in Tangiers was to seize one of those collide houris in a yashmak and kiss her from her neat brown ankles up. One evening, when Lynn lay in bed, I said, to hell, I was going to the Casbah. Ah, she said, to find little boys. She called the hotel doctor, told him I was unstable and violent when drunk, and against all my protests, had him feed me a sleeping draught. Then I passed out and woke late with a parched mouth. This was no way to spend a holiday. 